Good evening, I'm Jeff Phillips. In a small victory for local anti-coal seam gas groups, Premier Barry O'Farrell has announced no-go zones for CSG mining in New South Wales. If strictly applied, the bans would cover large portions of most of the state's gas fields. Companies say it will lead to higher energy prices in the future, while the Greens say it doesn't go far enough to protect critical resources. A big announcement for anti-coal seam gas groups, but a small celebration. I think this announcement is a positive development, but I'm reluctant to call it a win. Members of Stop CSG Illawarra today reacting to news the state government will create no-go zones for coal seam gas mining operations around residential areas of New South Wales. The group wants more information to clarify exactly what that means. The title of the announcement is exactly the same as an announcement that the government made three years ago. Now. People stood up and cheered when that first announcement was made and it turned out it was of very little substance. The new rules banning coal seam gas activity close to suburbs is expected to rule out projects that gas companies have valued at around $4 billion. It's unclear if that includes Apex Energy's proposal on the escarpment. The Greens endorse the move but dismiss claims it will lead to an energy shortage. The truth is that with a national domestic gas reservation policy we would have enough gas in Australia to supply our industry industry, our homes for hundreds of years. The main coal seam gas industry body said the new ruling ignores science and said it had requested an emergency meeting with the Premier Barry O'Farrell. Energy Minister Chris Harcher maintains any gas well that gets approved will do so under the strictest guidelines in the world. This is a government which is fully committed to protect their environment, to, to make sure that our water is also properly protected and that all decisions that are made will be made transparently and openly. Paul Glover, Wind News.